Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to talk about SAP Business Transaction Events or BTEs. We will quickly talk about what it is, its purpose, and of course, we will cover how to utilize them. This is the overview, so as I mentioned, we will talk about what BTEs are, why we utilize them, and how to use them. And towards the end, I will provide some additional information on its usage, just in case you encounter them throughout your career. Let's start off with what business transaction events are. So in my case, I like to associate BTEs with SAP enhancements. And we can, of course, focus on the word event. This is how we're going to try and visualize what they are. I highlighted over here that as a consultant, you may be faced with requirements that go beyond the standard scope of SAP. And this is where BTEs come into the picture. So at this point, you may link the SAP enhancements and the acronym BTE together. In this case, BTEs allow you to attach a custom functionality to a certain business transaction event that is, of course, available in the SAP environment or system. I did create an image below for visualization purposes. We can focus on this one. And if we look at the image, you will notice that the standard SAP behavior, which is the first row, would consist of event and the end of that event. So this is really basic. We're just talking about the start of the event and when it ends. If we move on to the next row, which is this one, you'll notice that in between the standard SAP visualization or diagram that I created, we included a green box over here and it's called or labeled custom functionality. So in this scenario, we're seeing, okay, we have the standard SAP behavior and we added some sort of custom functionality to that event. In the last scenario, which is this one, the last row, this shows a high level example of how BTEs are triggered. So you'll notice that we added a bit more details or descriptions for example for the event we called it 00002040 and for the custom functionality i did emphasize that we want to trigger a function module for that custom functionality that we're trying to create at this point we are telling sap Hey SAP, when event 00002040 is triggered, please call the indicated custom function module before ending. So before the event actually ends, it will process or trigger the function module with your custom functionality. Moving on to our next point, this brings us to the question, why do we utilize BTEs in the first place? So I did include two bullet points for this question. And the first one is that we mentioned that standard SAP does not have the functionality or the requirement that the client is asking for. The standard functionality may be there, but they're looking for something more. And so you're looking to enhance it or, or add this custom functionality on top of that standard SAP behavior. In this case, you build and implement this functionality given that there is an existing business transaction event or process in SAP that you can work on top of. The second bullet point is that SAP may advise you to utilize BTEs to implement quick fixes or enhancements to certain country-specific requirements. For this bullet point, I have encountered this type of approach for IBAN-related concerns, which I will discuss later on in the additional information. Throughout this video and post, we will focus on the first bullet point. Next up is how to use BTEs. In the screenshots below, we will go through transaction code FIBF for you to quickly see or visualize how to select that business event or process and link your custom function module 
so that it works as intended and it satisfies your client's requirements. So the first thing you want to do is locate or choose your business process event. And to do this, you go to transaction code FIBF, you select environment and click on info system with the processes description. So once you click on that, you will see this type of screen. It's called business transaction events process interfaces. And from here, you can isolate the specific event or process that you want to enhance or customize. So if we take a look at the process interface field, you can select from the following options. You'll notice that in this screenshot, there are a couple of processes available for me to work on top of from Dunning, document posting, supplementary FI documents, residual item postings, credit management, so on and so forth. So in this case, I selected 2040 as the process interface or the BTE that I want to work on top of. You'll see that it is selected in this field and this specific event or process focuses on the output payment advice note. Once you execute this transaction, you should take note of the sample function module that is linked to that BTE process. In the screenshot below, you'll see that 2040 is the process. You have a little bit of description over here under the text portion. We have this output of payment advice note. We want to customize it a bit further, add on top of that. And in order for you to do this, you need to click on the sample function module over here. You need to click on that and it will show you a sample code snippet of how you can utilize that FM or function module to work on your code. The next step would be to work with a developer to utilize the function module sample that is linked to your BTE. In this portion, the developer can copy the sample function module and use it as basis to create or work on the code for your custom functionality. Let's say that the code is done. The next step would be to link the newly created custom function module to the BTE that you're focusing on. In this portion, we will follow the steps below. In order to link this new function module, you first need to create a product. So you need to go to transaction code FIBF, go to settings, select products, and select of a customer. Once you're done with that, you will encounter this type of screen. And you'll notice that there are fields for product, text, RFC destination, and an active checkbox. So in this example, I created a new product called ZPMTADV, and I described it or labeled it as custom payment advice. For the RFC destination, you can keep that field blank. We don't necessarily need this for this simple example, but if you're looking for more information, you can read through the blog post or click on this field and press F1 on your keyboard. As for the active checkbox, you can leave it blank if you're not yet testing, but if you want to test it, you need to, of course, make sure that this is active. Next, once you're done creating the product, you need to link that product and custom function module to the BTE process. In order to do this, you go to FIBF again, go to settings, process modules of a customer, and below we see that new product, the one that I created a while ago, over here, you'll see that the product is specified and we have the BTE process number over here. So you'll see that 2040 is indicated and in between that, you'll see a function module field. This is where you input the function module name that was newly created by the developer. For the rest of the fields, you'll see that I mentioned CTR field is normally left empty, as well as the application field. 
So these are things that you can read more about in the blog post or again, click on the field and press F1 on your keyboard. So by doing this type of configuration and saving it, this is you linking the custom functionality to the DTE. If you go back to the image that I showed you a while ago, this is the part where you have the event 2040. Once this is triggered, it will see your configuration in FIBF and it's going to call that function module, execute that function module, whatever behavior that you entered or you wanted to add on top of that event. And once that is done or completed, the event will reach its end. So overall, we did some sort of plug-in to that event. Now that everything is all cleared up, I will move on to the additional information. A while ago, I showed you two bullet points talking about the utilization of BTEs. This time, we're going to talk about the second bullet point. I mentioned that it is possible for SAP to advise the usage of BDEs to implement some quick fixes or enhancements to certain country-specific requirements, so on and so forth. An example that I would like to share is in relation to IBAN concerns in Turkey. If you are curious to know more about this, I did link the SAP note related to this one. And if you read into that SAP note, you'll see that SAP simply asked to implement this BTE in the current SAP environment so that the error is resolved. Now, this was an approach that was provided because at the time, it was not possible to propose the IBAN number from an existing bank key and account number automatically in the said country, which is Turkey. So because of this, you'll also notice in the SAP note, it did provide some instructions on how to plug in that BTE. And I have included a sample screenshot. You'll see that the event in concern is 3030 and 3040. You also have the country key filled in, which is TR for Turkey. And you have the corresponding function modules that address the concern. If you'll also notice, the product is called N142-2201, which also corresponds to the SAP note. This is just an example. There are more examples out there. And I do want you guys to note that this BTE may no longer be needed if the fixes or the functionalities are already covered in the latest SAP patch. So this means if the system is upgraded to the latest patch, then these BTEs are no longer needed. That's basically it for this video. I hope you guys learned. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.